What's up? Welcome back to the Collider Interview Studio at Sundance 2024. I am so lucky to be sitting with the team behind Out of My Mind. Your movie filled my heart. I absolutely adored it. Huge congratulations. Thank you. I also must say a big thank you to the fine folks at Filmio who helped us get to Sundance this year. Filmio is a wonderful company that puts the power to greenlight movies in the hands of fans and creators. If you'd like to learn more about Filmio, check out their website, film.io. Amber, you get my first question. It's the hardest question of the bunch. Oh, a lot no. of our audience is going to be first learning about your movie through Sundance. So can you give everyone a brief synopsis of Out of My Mind? Uh, sure. So Out of My Mind is based on the best-selling YA novel by Sharon M. Draper, which is about a young girl named Melody Brooks, played by Phoebe, who is navigating sixth grade. And she also uh, has cerebral palsy and is nonverbal. And she's going through all the things that we all go through when we go through sixth grade. So it's a kind of coming of age um, finding your voice, but at the same time, everyone else around her learning how to listen. I got a two-part question for you about signing on. What is it about the story that drew you to it? But then also, what is it about this opportunity that you thought you would have something to gain from as a director evolving your craft? You know, I wish I could say that I was smart enough to have seen how much I would gain from doing this movie at the beginning. But I've got to be really honest that I walked away with so much, like just personal... Um, knowledge and gratitude and joy from doing this. And I, I didn't foresee that in the beginning. I mean, I loved the story. I loved the book. I loved the script. I loved, you know, all of the players, the producers, all of that part. Um, and I, I just, I knew it was an important story to tell, but I couldn't have foreseen how life-changing it was going to be getting to do it. So oh, I love hearing that. All right, Phoebe Ray, you're getting my next question. Yeah. This is incredible. You're so good in this movie. Oh, thank you. What were you most afraid of in terms of making your first movie and how did you overcome it? I was, oh, I'm not a very confident person. Um, so I was really nervous about everything because obviously this is my first experience of acting. But um, I, I, as soon as I met all these little lovely people, it all got easier and less n n nerve wracking because these people are so genuine and nice. You are a natural. Seriously, you should Thank be very you. proud of yourself. I'm going to continue down that path. It's time to make uh, Phoebe Ray blush right now. So this is her first feature. I have high hopes that if she wants to keep going in this industry, there will be many more on the horizon. Can you each name something about her as a scene partner or as a collaborator that you appreciate that you're looking forward to more filmmakers getting to experience in the future? I mean, I have so many things to say about Phoebe and how amazing she is, but I think my favorite thing about her is her sense of humor. She makes me laugh so much. And I personally cannot wait to work with her again. So hopefully she doesn't get too famous to re not not remember who I am. But I, I want to work with, with her again. She's just a genuinely wonderful, really special, smart, funny, kind, thoughtful person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm going next. Um, <clears throat> I think it was her willingness to kind of make mistakes and then learn from them. I think we're all like, we wanna be, be perfect and be perfect. And I think Phoebe knew like, this is my first time and I'm probably gonna make some mistakes, but I'm gonna get back on it. And it kind of made me be a better actress just to make sure that I was there for her whenever she was down and she was there for me whenever I was down. So it was perfect. Best quality to have in a collaborator. Okay. <laughs> I have to say it's just how present and available you were on set. Like just even now, just looking in your eyes, you're just very open. And um, and that was really easy to act with. Yeah. And it was always different every time. I felt like you were always bringing a new thing every every time to the scene. I'd have to say that I, I, I'd have to repeat what everybody has said so far in terms of the experience. Um, it was the joy that was so present. Uh, also, your joy in doing this and your commitment and your dedication and your professionalism. I've worked with people who aren't nearly as dedicated or professional as you are. And 
that was really an outstanding quality to me, that you were there for everybody and you made the experience a joy for everybody. And for me, most of all, I mean, in many ways, like Amber said, transformed my life. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, it's... Uh... <laughs> I feel like that one might be the oh, better yeah, option. <laughs> Let's see, you can have all of them if you'd like. Um, I, like Kirby. I, <laughs> um, uh, for you know, I, I pick a million things. It's uh, Phoebe's fortitude and strength is very uh, impressive, and matched with her humor, makes for you know the best day at work that you can hope for. So uh, that's you know, that's about. It. Yeah, I mean every that part and then I mean I think with actors when you're when you have a scene partner you're always looking to find like an, a connection and intimacy with one another and god it was so instantaneous because the courage that you brought every day to the set the vulnerability like you know it takes us it takes us like acting classes years to yeah, tap yeah, into yeah. that Goodness. and you brought it all and the trust I was so grateful that you like let me in you know what I mean like we sometimes we can't find each other when the camera's rolling and you are right I mean I think I sometimes think I am your mother <laughs> sorry Frankie <laughs> you know what I mean because I just love you in a way that I never had trust built so quickly with an artist and I think it's because of like the, the extraordinary human being that you are I'm so excited for people to learn who you are yeah. oh my gosh thank you <laughs> see I thought I was her mother <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary I'll add to that a little for you now because I feel like this is true no matter what character you play but in particular a mother I'm sure you had a great script to work with but I feel like it's often a situation where you find so much of your character via your scene partners in this case Phoebe and Luke can you tell me about a quality of Diane's you only found via working with them good questions um I would say a quality that I only found I'll be honest you know, there's a piece of this that all these characters advocate for Melody. And I really didn't find it until, I mean, I probably shot three quarters of the movie by then, that scene where we did in the driveway. Mm -hmm. And it was just the blocking and the staging got a little precarious to take Phoebe out of a wheelchair. And the level, I didn't even know it was like, I was ready to quit the movie <laughs> like if we didn't like, you know, move things around. But like, it just helped transform me into what it really means to show up for somebody and like advocate and sometimes we're scared in Hollywood to do that but the the depth of our connection I was like yeah no no I'm not going to sit her on the back of this car you know I'm not going to do it so I didn't even know I had that in me to just look at the producers and be like nope I'm drawing the line but that really came from our relationship it's a really beautiful shot and performance beat there. Um, Luke, I'm going to come your way next because I want to highlight Amber's work as well. And I know the two of you worked together in the past. When you first met her, what is something about her that signaled to you, this isn't just someone I want to work with once, but this is someone I might want to have a long lasting collaboration with? That did not happen. That's not how it happened. <laughs> Amber and I met in a park uh, uh, on March. 15th or 16th 2020 uh, the next day my wife called and said you have to get on an airplane because um but I, we had the best uh just the best conversation just a very create a very open uh creative conversation but a human conversation and it didn't sort of uh you know i, I knew nothing about her talents which are vast but, uh, you know, we sort of, we forged a, a bit of a bond and a friendship. Uh, you know, I think we share a lot of uh, <clears throat> frustrations about uh, life and the world and, and, and have high hopes for, uh, for you know, the experience. Um, so that was just the beginning of it. And yeah, now I'm trapped. <laughs> kind of glad he's forever trapped. trapped. Yeah, he's <laughs> promised to be in every single movie I make okay. now. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm already looking forward to this. Um, I'll open this last question up to the group. It's also singing your praises, Amber. I'm going to borrow something, Judith, I read from you in our uh, press notes. You mentioned Amber is like Mrs. V in a way. She will push you. Can you each name a time on this set when she pushed you? And by pushing you, it helped you exceed your own expectations for your work in the film. This is making me sweat. <laughs> Can I go first? 
Um, there was a scene that we were going to do that um, we wanted to kind of have multiple takes. So we wanted to make sure we had a moment where I was just being serious about it, but I wanted to be emotional as well. And um, there was a time that Amber pulled me to the side and she just said, listen, I know that you can do this. She kind of just gave me this really personable pep talk, reminded me of who I am in this character and reminded me of the situation. It kind of just urged me to be my best self and just to roll with it. And it allowed me to trust that she trusted me. And I don't think a lot of people kind of trust you to do the work. And I think she gave me the opportunity to do that, even with just that little pep talk. Cause people try to make you feel an emotion. She's just like, I, you got this. You know where you are, you know what you're doing, you're having this conversation and I just want you to get a little more frustrated. And it just was, it just was so helpful and it allowed me to create the moment that you do end up seeing, which is a little more subtle, but it still feels pain, you still feel a little pain there. So um, I just, I thank you for that, for trusting me. Mm -hmm. She she pushed me to do the movie. <laughs> she did. She did. She was genuine and available and supportive and things that I talked to her about that I thought needed to be there. And she was just open and there and present. And I thought, oh, this is a person I have to work with. I must work with her. And um, like you, now I'm hooked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I always get excited when people build filmmaking families, so uh, keep this one intact. <laughs> I wouldn't even say pushed. I, I would also just say, like, it's it, when you see what's on the page, which is extraordinary, and then you see the way Amber elevated it, it's like you, you push yourself the hardest, and the way that it turned out just exceeded my wildest expectations so it's that and that doesn't happen a lot you know it's so hard to make a movie that sometimes you're just a little disappointed about some parts of it but this is one that every moment of the film was elevated by your vision um, and we're just really lucky to be in your orbit what you got for us michael um okay. it, right away i was thrown into a, a very hot classroom in front of like 20 12 13 year olds and amber was like yeah just teach and i was like what and she's like well you know I to, i'm open to improv so can you just would you just teach a class i was like are you kidding me <laughs> so i'm quickly googling like you know some facts about early explorers and stuff and i was like okay i think i have a lesson plan yeah i could do this i've got a lesson plan i'm ready so she just pushed me i think to really have to embody the character in that practical way, like in a way that I hadn't thought about. I was leaning on the script, you know, there's a script. And so, but I was like, oh, what would I do? That horrible flop sweat feeling of just being in front of kids and not even kids, but like preteens and early teens. And even though they were all actors, they're still young people with their judgments. And you just, I'm standing there just like, oh, they hate me. I'm an idiot. I'm so not cool. Um, so she, she pushed me out of my comfort zone. I, I was just like, wow, he knows so much about American history. <laughs> oh, that was just my phone. <laughs> Google knows a lot about American history. Uh, Luke, Phoebe, you got anything for us? Um, I've got only one thing that comes to mind. But um, there was a scene where um, I had to get emotional and I just couldn't for some reason. But Amber had to be really stern with me which I'm really grateful for because that got me to the point where I could play a, a, an emotional part and I'm just grateful you, you left me all the times at work when I needed you. Mm. Yeah. Alright Luke, last stuff. You gonna take us home? What was the question? Uh, <laughs> a, a time, yeah, yeah, pretty much yeah. basically that. You already said her I think I said that. I mean, we've established this, haven't we? Let's not gild the lily. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry. It, felt, it just, it just felt, it felt natural at this point. Women were holding the microphone for you. Sorry. Um, the end on that. It was, uh, oh, you know, it's just like, it, it, she asked for one, mo one moment in particular where I really pushed you to be the best thing you could be. <laughs> um, or what is it? No, you learned something. 
What, what, did she push you to wear those dad pushed jeans? Pushed you in a way where you exceeded your own expectations for your work. Um, I well, I think it is. That. I do. I do think there's something about kind of put putting a kind of trust in a director where you you in some that in some moments can sort of you can kind of um, relinquish an idea about a through line of character and story and really just for even a brief moment become kind of like paint or you know more become a little medium and let the director kind of guide you and I have that with Amber where I just uh, in spite of my you know frustration or confusion about it I'll just sort of go oh yeah let's try that and uh, and I, I, I've been sort of surprised and happy to to see these things make it into the movie and 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 it does sort of reveal as a viewer I kind of go oh I never I never would have thought to do that and so it's it that 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 is um that's a gift yeah, yeah. beautiful answers all around I appreciate your time and you sharing some of your experience with us again congratulations on out of my mind exceptional thank you so thank much you. Thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> To everyone out there, thank you for watching. Keep an eye out for Out of My Mind and stay tuned. More from Sundance 2024 for you soon.